So in today's Celebrity Cruise News, we're going to explore the latest on the Ascent, as well as introduce a new program called Celebrity Pass to You that's going to be available for purchase on your next cruise. And lastly, we're going to dive into how the celebrity employees feel about all of the recent cuts that have been happening on their cruise ships. First, the latest Celebrity Edge class cruise ship, The Ascent, has completed its sea trials and is preparing for the inaugural sailing on December 3rd from Fort Lauderdale. In November, this ship will sail two short cruises, mainly reserved for media and travel agents. However, I'm finally really excited to learn that the pool statue on the Ascent will be an octopus, continuing the tradition of each Edge class ship having a different statue by the pool. For example, Celebrity Beyond has the Elephant Man, Edge has the Butterfly Wings, Ascent will feature an octopus, and the Apex has the heart. I'm really excited to sail on this new ship in December and provide you with the wealth of content about all things the Celebrity Ascent, so be sure to subscribe. Oh, and on a side note, Celebrity is very close to announcing the name and the itinerary of their fifth Edge class cruise ship, the one that's going to be coming after the Ascent. I'll be sure to include that in the next episode of Cruise News, where you can watch Captain Kate talk about this new ship in the video above. Now next, Celebrity Cruises has introduced the quote-unquote Celebrity Pass, a VIP upgrade option for guests to enhance their cruise experience with premium benefits. Booked guests and members of the Cruise Lines Captain Club loyalty program have received notifications about this new option and its perks. The benefits of the Celebrity Pass include priority embarkation, exclusive welcome lunch, premium Wi-Fi for up to two devices per guest, waived room service fee, which is kind of interesting, priority access for tender ports, which I mean, I guess is a positive, reserved prime theater seating. So on evening chic nights or formal nights, celebrity pass holders get access to reserved prime seating in the ship's theater. The Celebrity Pass will be available for $32.99 per person per day. Additional discounts may be offered for some members of the Captain's Club, um, although the savings can vary, I guess, based on loyalty level and maybe even a specific cruise. But generally speaking, for $32.99, you get priority embarkation, you get exclusive welcome lunch once, you get a premium Wi-Fi for up to two devices, a waive the room service fee, priority access to tender ports, and the reserved prime theater seating. It's currently unclear whether the Celebrity Pass is available fleet-wide or only on select ships or sailings for like a trial period, like the same way they do testing on the Equinox. I'm not sure if it's a test or if this is something they're going to roll out fleet-wide, but the cruise line often introduces such programs on limited basis to gather feedback and make adjustments before they really ship it out to their whole fleet. The value of this Celebrity Pass depends on the individual preference or maybe even your travel habits. For example, travelers who prefer to unplug and maybe not even use Wi-Fi might not need it, right? Likewise, guests who don't typically use room service really won't need it either. And I mean, if you are a frequent Celebrity Cruise traveler with high loyalty points, in the captain's club by the way if you don't know about that i'll link a video for you above but usually like priority tender service and a few others are already included in that loyalty status guest reactions to this pass are kind of mixed some people are excited about it other people say it's a waste of money and then some people are really angry because they feel like they're squeezing again more money out of people by introducing things like these uh priority seating at the theater which really means that they're going to block off a bunch of really good seats that are not going to be available to the rest of the passengers to make you know to kind of add value to this celebrity pass but again let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below interesting side point a similar program is offered by royal caribbean international it's called quote unquote the key i find it almost comical how celebrities president keeps reassuring the public that they're not turning into royal caribbean 2.0 while slowly introducing the same cuts, the same private island, and now even the same programs. 
You can see that video where she talks about this, linked for you above as well. It remains to be seen whether Celebrity Pass will become a permanent fixture in the Celebrity Cruise offerings. Lastly, I'd like to highlight a comment I found on Facebook regarding all of the recent cuts that Celebrity Cruises has been making. If you're unfamiliar with these cuts, again, I've included links to relevant videos above. I'll read you the comment in its entirety. Day two on the summit. I asked guest relations today to leave a message for the bar manager. They said I could talk to him, so I waited. I was very friendly and led off with the quote, I know you guys prefer constructive feedback while on board rather than negative comments on the internet, and I promise to be candid, but not negative. The manager of all bar staff was nice and very candid fella. I said I noticed a difference in service level and asked if it was just a blip. His response, quote, likely not a blip. He then said the following, his bar staff was recently reduced from 89 to 79 people. His bar managers were reduced from 5 to 2. He said cuts were also made to the same degree at Blue, Lumine, and the main dining room. He said all cuts were mandated by the new president. He said Cafe Al Baccio had three staff on port days cut to two, and non-port days went from 5 to 3. He said the reason we had no servers yesterday at any bar was because they were working a private wedding on board, but he said he would have servers today, but it would be half of what we're used to. He went on to say, I won't try to excuse the poor service. It's not what we like to deliver at Celebrity, but our hands are tied. Please provide your feedback. He later said that the staff felt this way collectively. The new president is trying to turn them into Royal Caribbean. He said that staff feels like Celebrity is its own brand and people choose it for what the brand represents. He sounded just deflated. He ended by saying that 60% of the staff on board were all new on this sailing. He said so many choose not to renew their contracts. When hit with many more rooms to clean and bars to cover, he said that many are working 13 to 15 hour days now and they're just exhausted. They continue in the comment, so for all of the defenders of celebrity, this is a real story direct from the manager. He urges us all to write in with our feedback. Other things, the hall on deck 3 this morning smelled like a giant smoking area. Ditto for all of deck 5 last night. I asked why they weren't policing the smokers on 3 who were smoking in the room, and the frank response was, and I quote, we just don't have enough managers anymore. Personally, we're no longer booking Celebrity, so this is my last post. We have a cruise with Azamara in June, booked and probably do Virgin and Oceania in the fall. Never had service this bad with Celebrity, and no sense of feeling that this service is anywhere close to returning to the Celebrity standards. It feels like NCL or Carnival. As you can see, these cuts are being felt across the entire Celebrity Cruise brand, from the passengers all the way to the employees, everyone is feeling this pain. As always, I'd love to hear what you think about this in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.